Hi guys, Cody Lopez here with Texalan News, and today we're taking a look at how the LG G7 ThinQ has been holding up since its release. This is our long-term review, so let's not waste any more time and get right into it. The LG G7 ThinQ is the latest iteration of LG's G series of smartphones and this device comes with many of 2018's must-have specs. But before we get into the specifications, let's talk about the design. It has a two-sided glass design curving smoothly toward the frame where you'll find the power button, speaker grill, USB-C port, headphone jack, and a new Google Assistant button plus the volume up and down buttons. Around the back, you have a vertical dual camera setup right above the fingerprint scanner. Normally, the power button would be located with the fingerprint scanner, but LG claims this was moved due to consumer feedback, plus I'm sure they wanted to make the phone thinner. It isn't a bad change, although LG enthusiasts will have a big learning curve here. It's tough though. The magnesium frame has an improved I-beam construction, which should help dissipate shocks from any drops. It's not only military standard compliant, but it also has IP68 water resistance, so no worries if it gets wet. The most noticeable change happens to be the display. This time around, LG opted for the now infamous iPhone 10 style notch at the top of the display to accommodate the front-facing camera and sensors. It's a controversial design choice, even though it's becoming increasingly popular among manufacturers. But hey, at least it's a good display. The 6.1 inch high resolution LCD screen is gorgeous and easily among the best non-OLED panels you can find. Colors are rich and vibrant and provide a pleasing viewing experience. One benefit of LCD screens are the brightness levels. LG even gives users the option to crank up the brightness to a blinding 1000 nits. Although the phone can only do this for 3 minutes at a time, obviously to prevent the battery from draining, but this is a good option to have when you are in direct sunlight. Oh, and as for that notch, LG also gives users the option to camouflage it by making the screen around the notch black to create the impression of a proper bezel. So the phone can appeal to the market that is a fan of the notch and those that aren't. One of the G7's most unique features is actually its audio. For years, LG has been perfecting its audio technology like 32-bit quad DAC headphone jacks, but now the company is announcing a feature called Boombox. This allows the body of the phone to amplify the volume with a distinct audio punch coming from the center of the phone to boost the speaker output. It definitely works, bringing a louder and fuller sound that other single speaker devices can't match. As for the performance, it features a Snapdragon 845 processor, 4GB of RAM, and 64GB of storage. Given those specs, you'd expect the G7 to be a performance beast, and fortunately it is. Whether it's the CPU or GPU, there is definitely a sharp improvement compared to last year's performance. It can be a little difficult to measure real-world performance, but everyday tasks and even gaming have yet to see any hiccups. G7 is completely in line with the performance you expect from this year's high-end flagship phones. And as for the software, RG7 is running Android 8.0 Oreo, the same software version it launched with. The user experience has changed slightly, the app drawer opens with a swipe up now, icons have been modernized, and there is slightly less bloatware. The addition of your Google News Feed with a swipe right from the main page is a nice touch from stock Android. LG states that they work with Google to provide a physical button to activate Google's voice assistant, which I'm a big fan of. It's so much better than Bixby. Hopefully with the help of the company's new center dedicated to software updates, this phone can start to get the latest versions of software like Android 9's adaptive battery sooner rather than later. And speaking of the battery, the G7 has a 3000 mAh battery and honestly that is a little on the small side compared to other phones. Fortunately, this battery isn't as weak as it sounds. Of course, everyone's battery life will vary depending on usage but during our testing, the G7 lasts a full day with heavy usage and would only regret not plugging it in before an extended night out on the town. Now because of the phone's glass back, it has wireless charging support 
although it can take up to three hours for a full charge doing so. You don't have to charge your phone overnight though. In just one and a half hours, the G7 jumps from zero to full thanks to Quick Charge 3.0. Now with the cameras getting the most attention in smartphones these days, LG is sticking to its usual offering. A second wide-angle camera providing a spacious field of view to fit more into the shot. Both cameras are 16 megapixels and offer optical image stabilization. While it lacks a monochrome lens or a telephoto lens, it makes up for it in sheer quality and precision. The colors and exposure are accurate and the wide angle gives an exciting perspective that most other phones can't. One new way LG is aiming to grab attention is the inclusion of artificial intelligence. Camera AI is a mode all about recognizing objects or scenes and automatically choosing the best settings based on studying other similar scenarios. This AI feature can be accurate and useful, especially for those less familiar with the intricate settings of the manual mode, although it isn't enabled by default. You'll need to switch to the camera AI mode, which makes it less immediate and ultimately less likely to be remembered at a moment's notice. Aside from the ridiculous name, the LG G7 ThinQ is actually a great phone. Sure, it has its up and downs, like the lackluster software and that notch can be an eyesore, but overall it does a great job adding enough features to please a wide variety of people. The only thing holding most people back might be the price. At $750, the G7 can be a tough pill to swallow when compared to other devices in that price range. Luckily, as time passes, most LG phones usually see a pretty good price reduction. I'll be sure to leave a link in the video description with the most updated price. So, it looks like LG has made yet another commendable smartphone, and at prices like that, it's easy to recommend. For more smartphone coverage, visit our website at techcellentnews.com, follow our social media for excellent technology news daily, and be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Once again, I'm Cody Lopez with Texelin News, and I look forward to seeing you all in our next video.